Yo, the zombies attacking, man. I hop on for two seconds so I can get some PvP done on here on, on Dinkle Dork. And the zombies attacking. I thought you were supposed to enable this. There's zombies. There's a dude sitting right here. Look, there's a banshee over there. There's a banshee right there. There's a skeletal warrior. Warlord over. Dang. This is. A... <laughs> what the fuck? I, I'm struggling to speak English apparently. Yo, ah, why go on? Tis your boy. You're doing this one, Diddy. We about to hit up some PvP here on Dinkledorf again. Because, uh. Look. The server is clean. Okay. The damage is healthy. I don't know where's all my health at. But, uh, you know. The, the, these NPCs are, uh, really fucking, uh, the bots over here are really good fighters. Okay, they're getting a little too close. I ain't get, you know, we level 80 and we got gear, but I don't know about 60 level, 60 level 60 elites, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, that notification bell, share with your people, join the legendary clan, support the channel, become legendary. Let's go. So I just realized, uh, I lost some icons on some of my joint. I probably got to update. I probably need to update. Um... Which I'm pretty sure there is a new update out and about. I'm gonna check that out. But for now, I'm just about to crush on some things. Running a power build, of course. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was gonna get on and do some uh, retail PvP. But, uh, you know. Freaking poop internet decided, hey, you know what? How about we not do PvP and I sign you out so you have to type in a code and all that extra stuff again. Uh, I'm like, nah, I don't feel like doing that. So I just, I'm gonna hop on some single player and some dinkle. <laughs> Do whatever PvP I got on these characters and I'll re-sign in later when I'm not annoyed. And, uh, cause it keeps happening for some reason. And I don't mean signed out like somebody else is logging into my stuff. And I mean like signed out like this doodle internet keeps backing me out. And I have to re-sign in. And it keeps happening and it's annoying. So I'm, I'm like, I don't feel like signing in again. I just did this like three times now. I don't know if it's my internet or if it's fucking Battle.net having issues, but it's annoying. Also, if the fine people over at Dinkle Dork are listening, uh, if you guys can bring the monster bag into the game, that'd be lovely. I need that big 36 slot, you hear me? I need maximum space. You know what I'm saying? Or all that I have. I'm missing a couple of things on my bars here, I just realized. As long as we got food, we're good. We do. So, whatever is missing, I'll figure it out later. <laughs> because that's how I PvP. If I'm missing something, eh, I'll figure it out another time. Yeah, instead of fixing it right then and there like most people would. It's probably not even that important if it's missing in the first place, right? That's how it goes. <laughs> probably not. Probably is something important. It's all good. Yeah! That's what it looks like when you got 8,000 attack power. You know, I was doing this over on uh, War Main, and, you know, I gotta relearn. You know, I gotta relearn the ways. I'm a noob again. I was supposed to be doing that today. Battle.net had other plans. Don't you revive after I murder you? revive back up immune immune to that man my name tags are not on again for whatever reason holy boy I don't even know who I'm truly attacking half the time because my name plates keep coming off I keep forgetting how to turn them back on this, this doesn't happen all the time uh, let me see. It might be because I was recording something and I turned them off and forgot to turn them back on. Oh, yep, there it is. I was recording a little machinima video, which you guys will be seeing soon. For Halloween, that is. So, that's why the nameplates are off. Let me see. I had to turn everything off. That should be it, right? Okay, yeah, here we go. Man, hold up. So you're just gonna watch this much of the video and you, you're not even gonna subscribe? Nah, don't wave to them. They ain't even hit the subscribe button. Come on now. Hit that subscribe button. Alrighty. Yeah, I had to turn those off so that I could see what I was doing. Goodness gracious, dude. You know what? I just realized season five is here. I need to teach the people. 
If this fear can come off me sometime in the near future, that'd be great. So I don't get jumped over here. Um, Season 5 is here. I need to teach people how to make a proper power build. You know, power builds are only for those who are willing to take many, many hours of their lives in getting the absolute best PvE gear they can possibly get their hands on. Because otherwise, doing a power build makes you a glass cannon. As a rogue, it's the best thing ever. As anybody else, it's kinda iffy. You gotta be careful, you know. As a paladin, it's pretty freaking amazing because paladins have way too much defense for it to really matter like that. Um, a lot of people. I to say who light, real light, who's somebody I can snatch up real fast. Death Knights usually aren't a first base's target, but you know, he's here and I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm searching for blood, you feel me? He gone. Instant heals. Nah, -uh, none of that, baby. Ooh. Power builds are the future. In a world where everyone and their mother is running a power build because who cares about actually running proper PvP gear? I'm lying, of course. It's not a good idea. It's a, it's a complete and utter glass cannon build. You will get your neck beat in if somebody gets the upper hand on you. <laughs> However, because like I always say, real people panic. These bots do not. A real person will panic when they start seeing that severe level of damage hitting them like that. They'll be like, what the fuck is going on? 11 grand. If somebody see 11 grand go across their screen, they'll scream. Okay? As where these bots, they're like, man... I don't see that damage you hitting me with. Is it a lot? Yeah, sure, but I don't see it. You know what I mean? And then they keep fighting to the end, which is not realistic. It gives you a false sense of kills. It really does. However, it is good fun. <laughs> it is good fun being able to do whatever the fuck you want, whenever you want, however you want. That is the one thing I will say that is downside to Warmane is the complete lack of freedom. I'm not used to it. I'm not used to the lack of freedom we have over on Warmain. You know, even retail, you get a little bit more freedom with, you know, transmogging and whatnot. And it's a it, it, it's a lot more freeing. My characters get to be swaggy at all times. It's a much more updated and refreshed game. Don't get me wrong. I freaking love Wrath Lynch King PvP. It is where I became a tryhard. My PvP career started in Wrath Lynch King. Well, technically late TBC, but it, I really got it popping in Wrath Lynch King. However, when you go from playing retail to old school Wrath Lynch King, it is a different feel. And honestly, to me, a better feel. Although Dragonflight's PvP is smooth as fuck, it's some of the best in a while. Uh, you know, Battle for Azeroth was poop, Shadowlands was kind of poop, and Legion was fucking. A dusky turd that's been sitting in the sand for ages now. Um, <laughs> especially the world PvP. Oh my goodness, the world PvP was so freaking busted and stupid. You know, uh, Wrath Lynch King is just butter smooth. Everything is fast paced in comparison to TBC and vanilla. Unless you just really love the technical feel that vanilla was, in which I honestly do. I need to get on vanilla. It's been a hot minute since I hopped on vanilla and did some PvP. Vanilla was very technical. Uh, TBC was kind of a mix of Wrath Lynch King and Vanilla. And Wrath Lynch King was just faster paced. Everything is moving a little faster now. Leading on to Cataclysm and so forth. Um, the problem is when you have War Main. Where you're not really free like that. And then you move over to. What is this? Wrath Lynch King. I'm about to get fucking jumped out here. Where did all these people come from? Uh, oh, shoot. oh my goodness, really? This is like real deal flag running right now. Can I get a heal? Giving me all these free, these free movements, but no heals. Holy, that was a close call right there, boy. Yeah, alone, them people popped up out of nowhere. Um, like I was saying before, I nearly got murdered. Uh, you know, War Main is great. Like I said, I'm not dishing. No dirt on Warman. Warman is a great server. It's I'm just talking about the overall freedom I have on single player project and Dinkle Repack, where I can do whatever I want, 
gear whatever character I want within whatever time I want. Make all these twink characters and not spend hours of my life doing so. Because as someone who has had many twinks in the past, it is not a fast process at all. It is the farthest thing from a fast process as a matter of fact. I've just, I'm, I'm, I've gotten back into twinking characters as of recently on my trial account. And um, let me tell you, it is, like I said, it's not fast. It is not a fast process. Where did you come from? You're gonna die just like that dang shaman did, man. Maybe. I, I got, oh, I'm about to say, I got people pulling up. Okay, never mind. The people popping up out the freaking world woodworks right now. Nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I was on the horny side by myself, but what the fuck? Where all them people come from? This is why I don't like Warsong Goats. <laughs> you can't have no 1v1s in Warsong Goats. But, uh, like I was saying, you know, uh, Warmain is a... It, it's a vanilla-like server for the most part when it comes to getting gear. As where this, it's a lot less time consuming. That's the biggest thing to me. The time consumption to get gear on Warmain is a very old school. As where with uh, Dragonflight, oh man, I don't know what they was thinking with Dragonflight because they was like, yo, we gonna make it beautifully smooth for y'all, as smooth as possible. Please come back and play again. And guess what? They got me to come back and play. Because, oh my goodness, I'm just gearing up all my characters with no issues. I'm just gearing up. That's a lot of parrying and dodging coming from a shaman. You know, as someone who's been playing a shaman for a hot minute, I ain't never had that much dodge and parry. What's going on, huh? Hey. Come here. Don't run. Take this whooping. Take this whooping. That's a lot of dodging you're doing there, sir. That, come on, man, with all that crazy dodging. What's going on? Fucking dodging that much from a dang warlock, I ain't never. Why they dodging so much? But, um, you know, when I get to get on here, create the character I need to create, PvP practically immediately. It only takes me like 30 minutes to gear these characters up and everything I need them to be geared up, whether I'm going with a proper phase appropriate set. Like, let's say it's Wrath Lynch King, we're in phase three. If I need a phase three set, I can easily pull up the Wildhead, look for all phase three gear, see what's the best or medium stuff, and boom, I'm good to go, right? And y'all know me, I'm not going to try to make it look realistic. That's the first thing I tell y'all when I'm on these, is, uh, and it's in the in the title. I'm, I'm, I'll be like, you know, yo, we on a single player project, yo, we on Dinkle Repack, yo, we on Warming. I always say that in the beginning of all my videos, that way no one can give the excuse of, Hey, you're clickbaiting. Nope, nope, no clickbait here, baby. Uh, it's the first thing I said when the video started. You know what I'm saying? So, that way people can't be like, hey, you're clickbaiting, man. Nope, I'm telling you exactly what it is. It's the freedom, though. I can just get on here. I got whatever transmog I want. And if I do want to do... Oh, hey, this is the freaking guy I was going to murder. And uh, instead, I got jumped. You know what I'm saying? I can pull up and do whatever it is I need to do, whenever it is I need to do it, however I want to do it, and it's freaking lovely, man. It's freaking lovely. Dang, Death Knight, Death Knight's as tough as work, boy. To be fair, he is wearing a vine plate. Just gonna pull me out of stealth. Come on, man. Come on, man. Seems to be a thing, a uh, big issue with a lot of these bots, whether it's single player or dinkle, them just pulling you out of stealth. But, uh, you know, I get to get on here and just do what it is I want to do with no issues. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm not fighting properly. I'm, I'm, I'm going too all out. This is not how I battle. This is not how I fight people. Okay. Go ahead, get that weapon off you, sir. Where are you going, baby? See how much better fights go when I'm calculating? I I just spawned. And he still. Oh, I got the. I died? I died anyways. God dog it. <laughs> the fuck, man. Alright, well, at least I got the flag back. What the fuck? Is he actually holding the flag or is this just a visual glitch? But I just. I'm. 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 You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. Like I said, I love Warmane, but. 
the freedom I get on these is is much superior. If I'm being honest. I get to get on and just you know get to where I need to get with no issues. It's immediate. Oh ma'am, I can't let you get that heal off. I tried to stun her, but you know, instead I gotta resist. Adult and resistance, man. Oh shoot! Like I love the fact that I get to get on here, although I do need the fine folks over at Dinkle Player to uh, you know. Get that uh I need some I need some Warsong Gulch and I mean I need some uh Adirac Valley and whatnot, you know. I'm about to die again because this dude keep popping up out of nowhere on me. They keep pulling me out of stealth, man. Hopefully if you guys can uh fix them from pulling you out of stealth. You know, the average warrior they would uh immediately hit what is it called? Demoralizing shout to pull somebody out of stealth. The problem is they're not doing that, they're just running right toward me and hitting me anyways. <laughs> Makes it a little harder to do what I need to do. Like, see, he's still looking at me. And he's gonna stop and he's gonna cast on me. Okay, never mind. He actually lost me. Oh, that's because there's somebody behind me. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you can, you know what I'm saying? If y'all can figure out a way to make that happen, you know what I'm saying? Please. If they don't keep pulling me out of stealth, I'm getting murked over here. No way in the world a warrior should have ever pulled my health that low. But he pulled me out of stealth before I got to do anything with a hard hit too. Immediate rend. He didn't give me the option to think about doing anything. <laughs> An immediate rend. Once you hit a once you hit a rogue with a bleed, you know what I'm saying? You can pull the upper hand pretty fast. That's what that's, at least that's what I do. The first thing I do when I'm about to fight a a, a warrior is I bleed him. A rogue is I bleed him immediately. He's still looking at me. Immediate bleed to get that fight on the upper hand already. He won't be able to go stealth. And if he tries to vanish, he'll be pulled out of it if he doesn't time it properly. Pulled out immediately if not timed properly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, need my, I need my sprint back so I can grab this flag. They just they just straight they they, they just straight rolling up on me <laughs> and hitting me. Alrighty, let me see. Can we run this flag? Certain things on here feel a little underpowered too. Like I was grabbing. Uh, what? Okay, yeah, I was right. She ran up on me without even. I wasn't. I was still in stealth, man, and she still ran up on me. I never even left stealth yet. <laughs> what the fuck, man? This is uh this is a pretty dang great server overall though. This is uh definitely pretty dang good. So uh the one thing that makes the difference between the uh, Dinkle Repack and uh single player project is like Selguar explained, he was like a, the the bots on his server are built mostly for PVE, as were the bots on this server are built mostly for PvP. You know what I'm saying? I was making the joke. I'm like, maybe he, maybe he don't feel like updating no more. <laughs> He's like, nah, I'm still going to update, of course. But these bots are definitely tailored more toward PvP, in which you can tell they are a lot better. They actually be giving me challenges and crap, and I'm wearing some pretty ridiculous gear. Honestly, what I need to do is downgrade my gear to a regular set, and this will help me learn, relearn my classes. As well as playing on retail again. Although honestly, if I'm being honest, the re relearning on retail has not been an issue at all. It's relearning on Wrath Lynch King for some reason feels different. It could be because I'm so dang used to vanilla and how much slower everything was. That could be one of the reasons. Or maybe I'm too used to Dragonflight, which is a lot faster paced than even this. Which is crazy to say because Wrath Lynch King is pretty dang fast paced. Damage is through the roof and everything. He gone. 
yeah, yeah, see, what the fuck, man, I'm running a whole power build out here, so I'm at 9,000 AP, you know what I'm saying, big nine grand on him, but I'm probably gonna downgrade my character's gear just so I can get an understanding more, a better understanding, because uh, this is, uh, this the gear I'm wearing is not gear you just simply get your hands on, you hear me? Shape shift for him. Oh, I forgot the trinket is a little busted over here. I can't get on my mount while that is up. Um, but yeah, the the the, the raw freedom to make a character, all my characters, and gear them up immediately. It's a little too good to pass up, if I'm being honest. A little too good. I just get to gear my fools up immediately. No struggles. No nothing. Just whatever gear I look at, whatever gear I see, whatever gear I need, whether it's good gear, whether it's poop gear, I got it. You know what I'm saying? And the lack of transmog, that's the biggest thing that's getting me. I can't transmog on Warman because it's got to have some weird token system thing they got over there. I need I need my swag, man. My character's got to be swaggy at all times, you feel me? <laughs> As you can see, we transmogged up right now. You know what I'm saying? Come on, baby. What it's all about. This is uh this is my retail transmog too. So that's the craziest thing. They got all the retail stuff over here. Where they do not for me. I ain't gonna lie, I gotta have the swag, baby. My characters are swagged out. I gotta be swagging while I'm fighting. <laughs> I am the swag master. Oh, I mean I even waste nothing. Uh I'm the swag master, man, for a reason. You ain't dead yet? Kill that man. I like two health. How much power are we at? 7,000? So. I love doing the power builds, but this is a little busted. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, this is how it would be if you had it against any dang body. I mean, after all, y'all just saw it earlier. We were at 9,400 attack power. It would be this way regardless. We fight. Let's go on the Death Knight, because he's a... Uh, a lot tougher than everybody else over here. I need to get my add-ons. I'm, I'm fighting on pure memory right now. Which is not the hardest thing ever to do, but it would be a lot more efficient if I could... I'm the only person over here. I'm gone. I'm still getting hit. Oh yeah, that's another issue too. When you go stealth, abilities still hit you. That does not happen normally. He's still following me, man. Look. <laughs> Still following me, dog. Now I gotta murk you. What? You got the dang PvP trinket on. What kind of crap is this? He's still looking at me. <laughs> Turn around real quick, man. He won't attack, though, so I guess that's good. But he is indeed still watching me. <laughs> Get away from me, man. Freaking Shadow Priest got me eaten. Bleed him out, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of extra damage on him. Ew. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. I do love this Dinkle repack, though. This is freaking great. And you will definitely be seeing more Dinkle pack PvP. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, now that there is a way to differ... Look at this dude looking at me, man. Yeah, y'all gotta... Y'all can figure out a way to fix that. It'd be lovely. I can't get away from these people. <laughs> and you'll probably definitely be still seeing... Of course, you'll still be seeing a single player project because that's where I do uh, most of my things. Mainly my twinking characters because it's... Uh, certain things on this server are different. Like certain blue items I needed at level 35 were green for some reason. Over here. Um. So, you know. You'll still be seeing that single player project quite often. Plus, I still got a, a hefty portion of my characters are still over there. So, until I make them over here, you know, we'll still be here. I mean, we'll still be over there uh, quite often. They don't be running the flags very often either. Um, I'm not much for flag running. So... <laughs> I don't really like running the flag that much. I actually, I don't like running the flag at all, honestly. 
I'm in a PvP battle and someone's talking about, oh, I'll be the flag carrier. Good, because I'm definitely not. <laughs> I will do everything in my power to not run that flag. Exactly why I'm about to get chased already, man. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this in. But overall, as far as I can tell with all the modern items and all the little specialty knickknacks that you guys got in here, pretty dang great. I can't hate. Pretty dang great. Freaking put that bullcrap on me. Get him away from me! <laughs> Please! Need to go. I have to go. We gotta have at least a 3v, uh, a 3 and 0. I mean, we can't end this game with no dang 2 and 0. Overall, though, this server is pretty freaking immaculate. There's a lot of little knickknacks. There's a lot on this server I haven't even discovered yet. So one of these days I'll get over, I'll get, I'll get back on here and really see and it, what all everything this server has to offer. You know what I'm saying? I really get on here for the PvP, but there's a lot more going on that I haven't even discovered yet. That I haven't even checked out. That I haven't even messed around with. You know what I'm saying. But anyways, it has been your boy Jadon Legendary. If you enjoyed this video, that's good. If you didn't enjoy this video, that's good. Either way, you watched it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, share with your people. Legend. Uh. Started stuttering. That is not his proper face either. I just realized that. I don't know what face that is, but that ain't his face. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.